Good day everyone, I hope that you are well and that you have had a blessed day. Um, in our discipleship group at the moment, we are reading through Romans together. So while reading through Romans, there is something that just stood out to me and just stirred my heart. And I'd really like to share that with you today, hoping that it can stir your heart or maybe just give you a word of encouragement. So the theme for today is bless and do not curse. Um, in Romans 12, Paul speaks a lot about the characteristics that a Christian should have, laying a lot of emphasis on the love that we should show to each other and the love that we should have for the world. So the verse that stood out to me specifically is Romans 12 verse 14, where Paul says, Bless those who persecute you, bless and do not curse, with the key word here for me being bless. So before this, the word bless to me meant to affirm what someone is saying or to agree with what they're saying and bless, blessing them in that way. But now I think you can imagine how, how is this possible to bless the people that persecute you. This, is, this was quite confusing to me as well. So the, the word um, bless in this context actually is the Greek word eulogio. I hope that I pronounce it right and I hope that you can forgive me if I don't. But this word actually means um, to speak well of, to praise or to give thanks. So in Luke uh, 6, 28, the Lord also uses the word bless in the same context, where he says, bless those who curse you and pray for those who spitefully use you. Again, using the word bless together with persecutors or people cursing you or so, not necessarily your family or friends or so. Therefore, the uh, bless, to bless your persecutors to me means just to um, give thanks to them, to speak well of them, even if they persecute you, and just to show your love to them. So I think you can agree with me in saying, this is a lot easier said than done. And I'd just like to remind you, as I reminded myself of this as well, that we need to look different from the world. Um, we need to look different from other people. When asking myself this, do I look different from other people? Do I look different from the world? Unfortunately, I couldn't say yes. I said no, because the answer was no. And the answer was no, because I couldn't confidently say, as Paul said in 1 Corinthians 11 verse 1, imitate me as I imitate Christ. And that's just so beautiful. And I think that at the end of the day, that is the goal. So to me, this is a conscious decision daily, um, just to bear fruit. I have this one friend that when you ask him how his day was, often he would say uh, that he blew up his fruit orchard that day, or maybe he threw all his fruit out of his basket that day. And that's just a funny thing to say. And often we would laugh about it because it's funny, but that's just his way of saying that in a specific um scenario that day or in a specific place he didn't bear uh, bear one a specific fruit or maybe more than more than one fruit but this is so important to me as it shows that he is consciously aware of the fruit that he needs to carry or the fruit that he needs to bear but more than that he is also consciously aware that when he doesn't bear fruit he knows it and i think that's the most important thing and that's the thing that he teaches me through this as well, that I just need to be consciously aware of the fruit that I bear and if I don't bear fruit so that we can always improve on this. So I'd just really like to encourage you today um, to be mindful of your reactions. When someone curses you, don't curse them back, but bless them and um, imitate Christ so that others can imitate us. I would just really like to encourage you to renew your mind and just to bless people around you. I'd just like to pray for us today. Father, I pray that we would be sensitive to the voice of the Spirit, God. I pray that we would find it easier than ever to bless people around us and to bless our persecutors and just to bless the world around us, God. I pray that this message will stick to our hearts, God, and that we just stir our hearts and that we will just constantly be reminded to bear fruit. In Jesus' name, Amen. So I just want to thank you today for taking the time and listening to this word that was on my heart. I hope that it can encourage you and that it can do something in your life as it did for me. It definitely did something in my life. May the Lord bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you and give you peace. Uh, have a blessed day.